off the shores of Michigan in Chicago, Illinois on a February winter day brings us a Big East women's basketball matchup. The number four ranked team in the country, the Yukon Huskies, to take on the DePaul Blue Demons. And Rogers isn't going to hesitate and drills the deep three-point look into Paul just like that gets out ahead. So two empty possessions to begin with here for UConn. And there usually is the green light here for DePaul and out to a 5 nothing start as River on her senior day gets the bucket. And, and when you go by the numbers, I mean, you has is shooting about 28% from three. Oh, Rogers, a couple of deep ones to get things going here in Chicago. Sometimes catch you flat-footed, and that's when she just pulls. Edwards defending Morrow that time, and Rimmer with another bucket at the beginning of every UConn game because it is part of their storyline. Well, and not to mention the other individuals who missed time. And the turnaround there from Morrow. Here comes Peoples. Pump fake there for Holmes. Kendall Holmes gives it right back to Peoples for three, and she knocks it down from the wing. Peoples trying to chase it down. A tough area there on the sideline somehow finds a rimmer with a tough shot you mentioned the big discrepancy in score but they they tried to play a zone and Yukon just picked it apart Morrow with the turnaround and gives DePaul the lead right back multiple Big East titles for DePaul and Yukon post touch and the turnaround what a move Kiki Rimmer has come to play here today Day works it around and they find Morrow's hands who turns and faces and fires and she's got that mid-range humming. And a solid 10 points in the first quarter after twisting that right ankle. It's the same ankle which she had actually injured last week. Peoples drills the deep shot. A spread of about five for both DePaul and UConn at different points here in this first half. Rimmer with the back down. And Kiki Rimmer now with eight points. Yeah, the toughest few seconds well, might be this opening 30 seconds where she checks back in. And another three-pointer falls for DePaul. It's Kendall Holmes. Yesterday, a left ankle injury. And so Rimmer starting in the place of Jory Allen. Morrow gets her own miss and puts it back. Ten different lead changes in this game. Six ties here between DePaul and UConn. There's a three-point look for Morrow. Yeah, Simeon's got a great line. Great line. <laughs> Steps into the passing lane and off to the races, and Morrow has a pick six. When healthy, one of the better three-point shooters. She struggled in that St. John's game, which is one for 11, a transition look for two. DePaul takes the two-point advantage. And 50 to 49, UConn with the one-point edge. There's Day for three. Here comes Peoples. And Rogers won't hesitate. She's got the green light, knocks it home. Rogers with that bounce pass, post entry to Rimmer. And another big bucket as part of an 8 0 run, and now the largest lead of the game for DePaul at plus seven. Ross turned away, but spins and fires off the one foot. Wow, that's big. Inside four minutes left to play. UConn trying to avoid the upset against DePaul. Body bucket and one for more. Shot clock still in play. Again, a four-second differential. A quick two goes high glass, and Peoples has cut it to one. What a game, and what a finish. Competitive between both of these teams, and UConn does just enough to pull this one out.